And we're back. If you're just tuning in, well, great, because this is www.arkansashowcaseradio.org show, where we bring you only the best of everything. <laughs> the best of everything, except for today, it's going to be crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not because it's October. And what does October mean to you, autumn. Roy? <laughs> <laughs> it's autumn. It's autumn. <laughs> Some of them and with them. <laughs> no, that means scary stuff like scary spice from the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, this yeah. one smells like linen. <laughs> this is linen spice. <laughs> She's can't. a nasty one. <laughs> linen spice. And then pumpkin spice. <laughs> She's cute. She's she round. Got, she got kicked off there and now she's nothing. She's she, a she's a homeless spice. <laughs> she's got carved up. Okay, but, <laughs> but that's what's happening. Okay. Halloween's right around the corner. Monsters, superstitions, black cats. We're gonna be giving you an idea of what all of those things mean. Right here, Arkansas Showcase. And Radio. how monsters are made. That's always that's always intriguing to everybody. How you make your own monster right here? <laughs> <laughs> you, you get a little that. bit of meth. <laughs> you shoot it in there, their teeth fall out. They're a zombie after that, <laughs> and then they look kind of nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any teeth. <laughs> I can just. I can become epileptic right in front of them. They can't do shit because I'm an epileptic. What do you think about that? A retarded epileptic. And you don't have any teeth. That makes them nice. <laughs> but yeah, but just like you were saying, people, you know, they always hear about the monsters, but they forget how they were made. Yeah, like Frankenstein. He's probably the most, he's a self made man. Somebody well, made not really self made. <laughs> yeah, he made himself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, really, it wouldn't be all that hard <laughs> nowadays. I mean, you, you, because you sew them together from all these parts of dead people, right? Basically. That is true. All you have to do is just go down to VA. They have all these old guys <laughs> waiting to die. They signed their cards and I'm donating my body parts. It doesn't say you had to be dead. <laughs> donate them so you walk in they, they grab you and they, we need a kidney <laughs> <laughs> just cut it out say okay you're gone get out of here here's a cookie <laughs> here's a cookie for your kidney but now if you're gonna make a monster wouldn't you try and do kind of like a weird science monster you know create something that is kind of hot versus frankenstein yeah, I, I never had understood that. Okay, what we need to do on this monster, we need to talk real low like this. But then you got to work your way up and go, Dear my creation, live! But then they put a, a bolt here. I mean, what doctor does that now? I mean, oh, you're going to put, a, uh, you know, like a hex head bolt right here. It's for jumper cable, <laughs> yeah. just in case, you know. Yeah. He runs down when he's about to kill someone. Yeah, I mean. Zap him. Yeah, they just hook it up, and then they didn't have batteries or anything. They had to have lightning. <laughs> that then would you, suck. Then you had to have, you have two morons fly the kites, <laughs> and they're up there getting the hell shocked out of them. And then this monster's over there. Eh, eh, he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was he doing? Uh, the fingers, they always do that when they're on the table. They say, oh, shit, it didn't work. Damn, monster didn't work. Now we're going to have to go get some more bodies. So I'm back. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh, he's alive. <laughs> the hands moving, buddy. Good jazz okay. hands. And then you got to wait till later on, if he's a success, then the townspeople, <laughs> you know he's a success, but the town people come up, <gasps> bring out that goddamn monster. <laughs> and they got fire and torches. And say, he's a success. My monster's success. When the, when the townspeople want to burn him, <laughs> bring out that, bring out that monster. <laughs> why, come, why did they want to burn him? Frankenstein <laughs> didn't do anything to anybody. Oh, no. And then whenever he comes out, then they wimp out. Oh, <laughs> run for it. <laughs> and they just throw matches at him. Hey, light yourself on fire, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to play bingo. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> yeah, he took that little girl, ooh, friend, and throws her into the lake and drowns her. And then everybody's all pissed off about <laughs> into it. Into the lake? Yeah, that's what he did. They're, they're picking David. <laughs> David, David. I guess I didn't throw her in the lake. <laughs> I did. He killed the little girl. Because <laughs> they were picking flowers. <laughs> and she goes, you know, this little days went to heaven. This little days went to hell. Or something. <laughs> 
what I said. The damn grunt pissed him off. And he's like, ooh, you can fly. And he threw the leg. And then the dad comes up and goes, what the hell? You just killed my daughter. The townspeople come up. Got to burn that monster. <laughs> Come out of nowhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. Pitchforks. Where are they at? Pitchforks. I'm going to run. 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 I'm going to yeah, just pull it off. He, of course, he's getting pissed. He's listening. Goes, okay, kid. I see about the flower. Then you did. Oh, oh, you're a goner. I'm gonna throw you out. There. Whoops! I didn't mean to. Sorry about that. Somebody help him. Oh, we're gonna come help him. We're gonna help that little kid. And we're gonna burn her too. He's a monster. They'll burn anybody, man. You damn arsonist. <laughs> I know. Back they then. always got to have matter. that torch, man. And they always get fired up out of no reason. <laughs> the cow died. Burn the monster! <laughs> bad meal, bad meal, burn the little bastard. <laughs> they go to the races and their horse loses. Ah, oh, burn them! <laughs> Uh, they don't, they're not even soccer fans. <laughs> oh, my God. That would, that'd be kind of scary back then. Oh, yeah. You, you never know when a lynch mob. But not, they don't even lynch them. They want to fork you. <laughs> yeah, it's just pitchforks and fire. That's <laughs> kind of drastic. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just asking for a carpenter. Oh, kill him! And there's always one guy at the very front that's got to be the, the, the kingpin. Burn him! He's always got the bad attitude. And everybody goes, oh, yeah, that's burn him, yeah. yeah I know it's kind of drastic, I think. You know, could you imagine dating someone back then? <laughs> Marry her! <laughs> Dad, my boyfriend broke up with me. Oh, oh burn him! And all of a these people, they're just waiting in mobs. They're walking around just waiting for somebody to burn. <laughs> I mean, how many pitchforks and torches do they have just yeah. at the ready? I mean, you just never know what's going to happen. Quick, we got to go to Ace Hardware. We got to get some goddamn pitchforks. <laughs> we got a burden to do tonight. <laughs> they would love living in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All these police, oh, burn them. <laughs> the, no, pitchfork. So what are you going to do with a pitchfork after you stab it in somebody? Well, they they never do. They always end up running from him. <laughs> I mean, they're they're cowards. They they're they're big talk, man. Yeah, we're gonna burn your ass when you come out here, Frankenstein. Get your ass out! Oh shit! <laughs> He's <laughs> out here. It was him. <laughs> it was about eight, nobody told me the bastard about eight feet tall. I thought it was a little bitty Asian guy. I was gonna burn. I was all set to burn a little Asian guy, but not that, like an eight foot NBA player coming <laughs> I out there. It was the girl. <laughs> I she was a witch. <laughs> nah, let's go home, boys. This all. Yeah, Frankenstein's monster. He, <laughs> he seems nice. <laughs> he seems nice. He's big as hell. And I'm scared. <laughs> he can probably buy beer. But you know, you got Frankenstein. That was bad. But you know, really, if you can't get away from these guys, it's not like he's a jet. He's got those big ass iron boots or whatever he's wearing. He can't catch you. Probably not that smart. And then you got the mummy. The mummy is the dumbest thing of all. He's wrapped in saran wrap or whatever he is. <laughs> saran wrap? <laughs> I don't know. It's Keeps not, him fresh. He's got those wrappings on. <laughs> and, you know, he had the, his life sucked worst of all. You know, he's there to protect something because, you know, they always say, oh, if you take that diamond, you'll get the curse of the mummy. <laughs> and, and everybody goes, okay. And they take it anyway. <laughs> and that mummy follows him around and ends up killing him. They can't get away from him. Oh, wait a minute. Give me a second here. That, I got to think about what's going to happen. That mummy's sliding toward me. He's doing. He could probably outrun a snail. <laughs> Look at the what groans. I, what though, I do? Man, yeah. He's really mad. Oh wait a minute. He's a perverted mummy. He's starting to take off those wrappers. <laughs> Who knows what he's going to do to me after that? <laughs> he's oh, gone. Crap! The mummy's got me. He's a molester. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, that's oh mine. crap! Here's some. Body with pitchforks and torches. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, he's in Egypt. And then all of a sudden, here's some, come these English people from the countryside. Burn him! We came by all the way over here to burn that mummy. He's a monster. Yeah, where witches get burned. Oh, yeah. They, they do. don't pitchfork witches. Why not? They use them on Frankenstein. They've already used them all up. I mean, what are they going to do? They, they can't just, those things aren't cheap. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the witches, they, there was no way out, man. They, it, they put you in a chair and three in the water. <laughs> if you sunk, you were you were innocent. And you, if you <laughs> drowned, you were innocent. <laughs> so but if you <laughs> float, then like on uh, the Monty, Monty Python, <laughs> you're the same as a duck feather. <laughs> and you're guilty as hell and burn them. <laughs> <laughs> if you're innocent, you die. Whoa, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that sucked. <laughs> the best part is there had to be, there was no reason or rationale. You could just accuse anybody as being a witch. Yeah. And, you know, back then, did you never saw Frankenstein go trick-or-treating? Why do they have him in costumes now trick-or-treating? I mean, you go up and you <laughs> the go. The witches didn't you know, go trick-or-treating They could have. I mean, they wear some little sexy outfit. And nobody's going to care. You saw Charmed. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to give them candy, but oh, no. Frankenstein goes up there. And, you know, can you imagine not giving out the right candy in those, <laughs> in those English people? You give them, a, you give them a, an apple. An apple. Burn it! <laughs> we want a snicker bar, you bastard. Well, that's why. No, they don't even have snicker bars stuff. back here. <laughs> they can't go trick or treating. It get burned and pitchforked to every house it goes to. Ding dong. Trick or treat. Oh, burn it! <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, I don't know. These monsters. What was your outfit of choice when you was a kid besides the sexy French maid? <laughs> I, I, we just did the, <laughs> like the hobo type stuff. Homos. <laughs> burn him! Burn him! <laughs> well, I mean, it's okay if you wanted to be a homo. Is that what you said? Well, thank you. No. <laughs> hobo. Hobo. <laughs> Nobody knows what a hobo is anymore. No, you know, you don't I, I don't dress as a hobo anymore. You said back then. You know, we People were poor. Are, we just put uh, dirt on our face and ripped up our clothes. And, he ripped uh, off your clothes. And, uh, he went up there with a dirty face, naked kid. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> this is all I got. That, this is worth at least a roll of Smarties. Or, <laughs> or 50 bucks. The hard way. Well, what was your costume? Me? Yeah. Well, it wasn't Spider Man because he wasn't back there. Uh, usually a ghost or something. Vampire. <laughs> uh, Just invisible man. <laughs> invisible man. I mean, a lot of times we didn't really work. But, I mean, back then, you walked up, you didn't have a costume. People wouldn't give you any candy. <laughs> they burn you! <laughs> burn you! Come here, kid. <laughs> ah! <laughs> then they pull you in the house but then and you're a slave. Because, yeah, <laughs> they ship you off to Asia. <laughs> you're making big time money. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if they didn't give us good stuff, we'd egg the hell out of their house. We'd take eggs, baby. Eight-year-olds with eggs on the car. And then, you know, running from the police. <laughs> that was great. Those were the days, Jeff. Let me tell you that. Peeping in people's windows. <laughs> oh, the eight-year-olds had a blast back then. And 40-year-olds and 45-year-olds. Yeah, we didn't know what we was looking at. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's disgusting. What are they doing? Oh, my gosh, they're wrestling. <laughs> and he's winning. <laughs> yeah, he, I think. <laughs> and, oh, my gosh, this is disgusting because she keeps saying, go, big daddy. This is, this is her dad. <laughs> That's our dad, That's big his, daddy. Spider Man, <laughs> that web just shot. <laughs> <laughs> but there's tons of stuff you're talking about. You know, egging houses. That's just one of the traditions. Trick or treating, of course. Oh yeah. Now, did you ever do the Halloween parties and like bob for apples? Well, I knew a lot of girls did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. I never did. <laughs> I didn't go as a homo. <laughs> but that's one of the Halloween oh, superstitions. This is going to get banned from YouTube. <laughs> it's one of the superstitions. It's supposedly... Bobby girl, for apples? Yep, that Bob's the apple. <laughs> is a popular girl. <laughs> she is. <laughs> yeah, but... And she takes the apple, uh -oh. and then she... Puts the bobbed apple under her pillow at night. Oh, I, I was wondering where he's going to go with that. <laughs> and she will see her future husband. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. <laughs> it's a uh, that is all true. Oh, my God. I'm going to marry a 90-year-old man <laughs> with cancer. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. That's what that one blonde did. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> That's not Nicole Richie. <laughs> what was that lady's name? Nicole Kidman? No. <laughs> what was Nicole somebody? No, I, I don't remember. Okay. But she's rich. Yeah. Okay. And also, if they were able to grab Apple on the first time, it means they're going to find true love within the next 12 months. But if they were or bobbing, nine months. If they were bobbing around, <laughs> that's true. That that means they're, they're, belly. <laughs> they're gonna be a little bit fickle and have trouble or, finding a man. That's because they drowned. <laughs> they're just bobbing around ahead of that's the dumbest game. Yeah, yeah, there's not even any apples in there. I don't think I've ever done that. Huh? You never bob for apples? No. Yeah, that sucks because then you get some big guy that always holds your head out of the water. You thinks it's funny. <laughs> Get the apple, boy. It wasn't the, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't the water, Roy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Give me your head. Yeah, I, I, it's like something from the mafia. Okay. Jack o' lanterns. Oh, oh Jack Carving o' lanterns. the Jack o' lanterns. Now they got Jack o' lanterns. I saw at the store. They're artificial, right? They're just plain Jack, they're just plain pumpkins, but they sell you the carving stuff. So you can carve. An artificial pumpkin. <laughs> yes. Why I've would seen you that. do? Why would you do that? Why, why don't you just buy one? It's already carved. It looks all neat and everything. Just put a candle in. And put it outside. Because you can create your own masterpiece. No, you won't. <laughs> Nobody creates their own masterpiece. That's a bunch of crap. I've never went to anybody's house. It's always the same thing: little triangle eyes, the busted teeth because they had a bad dentist, and, and then sharp was, teeth though. But you know, you see those ones that you can buy already done. Oh, it's like Michelangelo's <laughs> Madonna or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Michael Jackson and, and Ma- Ma- he did the the Madonna figure. Michelangelo didn't he? No, he was a Ninja Turtle. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> hey, I forgot about that Michelangelo. <laughs> but Mikael. I didn't even know the Mikael story the about Rishikov. the Jack O' Lantern. I mean, supposedly oh. it was about a drunk farmer. Named Jack, <laughs> go figure. And somehow he outsmarted the devil so he didn't have to die. Well, because he used trickery, he was banned from heaven when he did die. He was banned from hell because the devil was pissed. So he just had Why to was roam. he banned from heaven? Because he, he should have won. Trickery. He beat him. I don't know. God That's wasn't a happy. Rip off. Right. So, but so he had to just roam was his name in Moses? purgatory. You know, and so he carved this lantern out of a turnip back then. And the devil, because <laughs> he got that big, and he threw him a lump of coal to light his way. So that's that's Jack and Lantern. That's the dumbest story I've ever heard. <laughs> it's Farmer Jack, drunk Jack. <laughs> he, probably, yeah, he probably was drunk on Jack. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take this turnip or a rat. What is a turnip anyway? It's like a radish. <laughs> it's only about that big. And he just carved someone and goes, yeah, look at that. I'm going to put a piece of coal in it. This is a turnip's only about that big, right? About that big. Yeah, where do you find coal? Huh? Where do you find coal? Uh, out there in the fire pit. <laughs> he's bobbing for coal. He <laughs> <laughs> comes up and he's a homo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I didn't say that. I said hobo. Oh. <laughs> that was all you. So that's where people started doing the jack lanterns. Hey, you know, they didn't have all those uh, costumes or anything. You know, uh, they had some, but it was like, you know, he was a princess and, and maybe <laughs> a, a ghost. <laughs> I mean, they, you had these cheap ass costumes that you can't see and you're wandering around out there in traffic. <laughs> you look at getting wiped out. <laughs> and then they, back then, you know, they, they supposedly had those uh, pins and apples and stuff like that. They didn't have pins and razor blades and apple. Uh, uh, Apple. You ever see? If you can't find a razor blade in an apple, you deserve to eat that razor blade. I never. I, never. I didn't. I just couldn't tell. There's a big syringe. Because they always said, say, "Oh, there was five kids in the hospital tonight." Be on the news every night after Halloween. Oh, five kids were in the hospital for nails in the apple, and <laughs> somebody <laughs> ate a gun and was shot his face <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but and yeah, you know, it never I, happens. And you know, can you imagine some guy that's high saying, Hey, I haven't seen Pinhead. That'd be a cool uh costume. He <laughs> starts hammering nails in his head. <laughs> oh goddamn thing hurt. Oh, oh. Trick or treat <laughs> bleed <laughs> on <laughs> like, Trick or treat. Okay, but all that's about to start. Costumes are already out. I went to a Halloween store last night. I mean they have got everything now. Really? Halloween 
are expensive. Like you said, we used to do just the sheet or <laughs> put black stuff on her face. Some of the Halloween costumes were like 80, 90 bucks. That's crazy. No way. That's crazy. For one time use. Or you can wear them all the time <laughs> and just live a life. <laughs> you could. But because they're always some sexy stuff. You know, they don't have like the scary stuff. Or, well, uh, Home Depot had one of their displays removed because it was too scary. Oh, what was it? It was a clown, I think it was. Oh, everybody's getting shot now. You see here all these clowns that are showing up all over the nation and supposedly what? look. Yeah. There's been like 28 sightings of clowns. Of killer clowns? Yeah. They're, you know, you're oh. welding machetes and hatchets and they're on the oh. outskirts of like the woods and everything. Oh, that scared the hell out of yeah, me. like 28. Scary Everyone. clowns are back. North Little Rock actually just had one. But yeah, oh. they're in North Carolina, they're in Kentucky, they're in Missouri, See, I Pennsylvania. Can, I couldn't do that. Screw that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm scared to death of out in the dark anyway. I'm scared of the dark, so I don't want to be out there. Well, but I don't get that. I mean, it's like, okay, you see a scary clown in the woods. I see a scary clown anywhere. I mean, I see a scary clown in the middle of the day. It's going to be scary. And I don't want to be around That's what I'm saying, but who's going to go to the woods with a scary clown? They said some of these clowns are trying to lure kids into the woods. What kid's going to go into the woods with the clown? I mean, he can't spot him. I mean, the cops can't find these guys. Well, that's what I'm Hey, uh, hey, Bozo, you see anybody with a hatchet? Oh, okay, you go ahead. You need to work on those teeth, though. They're kind of snarling. You're supposed to be a happy clown. <laughs> no clowns here. <laughs> no. He's got a bucket of confetti. And, and you that's see, all I got. <laughs> yeah, it's really coke. He's just throwing on them. But, you know, they can't run. They got those big old floppy shoes. They can't chase you. <laughs> they got the little horn. You can hear them coming. <laughs> Harpo Mark. <laughs> but, you know, uh, one you hardly ever see is a zombie. People dressed up like zombies. No. Because well, zombies aren't scary. They're scary if they're real. I mean, but, I mean. This guy shit out like a ghost oh, or a vampire. Like a, a, if you want to be one, I, I don't know why anybody would want to be one. You just, you got to go find one, which is tough anyway. But when you find them, you got to say, here, bite me. And so they bite you. And usually they go for your head because they want <laughs> brains in some movies. Some movies they just bite you. And I don't know why they're eating you because they don't have a stomach. and But they bite you. And you say, okay, that's good. Then you got to wait around. Okay, when am I going to start rotting? <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm not even hungry. I don't know. Yeah, I just you don't want to be a zombie. So everything has to, you have to be bitten by everything. Like a vampire? You know, where, or a werewolf. But a vampire, that would. You know, I could never turn anybody because, you know, they always do that. Oh, uh, you bite them, and then when they, they get ready to turn and say, okay, uh, you're right on the verge of death, and they go, <laughs> and they yank a big old chunk out of their arm and go, oh, there you go, and then they suck on their arm. No, oh, I couldn't do that. I, I, could, I said, yeah. going, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh okay. you're dead. Here, bite me. And I couldn't bite somebody in the neck. I mean, that would, that would be disgusting. Blood going down your throat and everything. Or does it go through the teeth? I never have understood that. When they, when they suck out the blood, does it? do they have little suction things in their teeth that it goes out through their teeth or does yeah, it go down their throat? No, it goes in the teeth. Down, well, then the teeth down the back of the throat. It's like a, oh, yeah. it's like a like needle. some kind of scientist <laughs> on vampires. It's science. Yeah, so that's why your blood doesn't just spew everywhere. That's why they have It does teeth. in some movies. They sit there and go, oh, that was the best thing ever oh my god I, 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 <laughs> no, I don't know what movie that's, you were watching that's there. Harry Potter baby oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited do it again <laughs> then they get real big and bloated that's why they say vampires actual vampires if there were vampires they would bloat themselves on because vampires don't use the bathroom <laughs> they Never. don't no they don't so where does all that blood go they just back into their system it's got to go somewhere. I mean, <laughs> it goes into the next person. The next person bites them, and then it goes all out to them. It's a cycle, Roy. They take in a lot, then, then they give a lot. Then, you know, they, they dress all cool in those outfits. You know, like they always wear tuxes. You know, in the old vampire movies and capes. They look kind of cool. Put too much oil in their hair. <laughs> a cape? Yeah, they have like a cape is cool. Yeah, I like cape. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Vampires and superheroes. Yeah, they have, they have a cape and, and they have the, the tux and they always they're walking around out in the dark. But you know, the thing of it is 
you think you'd have something better to change into than a little snarly bat. Oh, my God, I hate bats. That'd be the worst thing ever, man, to be turned into a damn bat. I got hit in a bat. I got hit in a chest with a bat once. And it scared the living crap out of me. I was riding home from school, and a bat hit me. I'm like, over my chest. I crashed my bike, and... Uh, I called and a it hospital. It wasn't a bat. It was just a little <laughs> cricket. I called the hospital. I said, hey, I just got attacked by a bat. They said, oh, my God, come on in. You're going to have to give me shots in your stomach to get rid of the <laughs> Never the mind. It wasn't a bat. And he, they go, where did he bite you? They go, bite me? He didn't bite me. Did he scratch him? No. <laughs> he, well, what do you expect to happen? Uh, he was on my clothes. <laughs> he was on me. <laughs> got bat hair everywhere. Yeah. So bats are creepy little shits. Yeah, but now that's part of the Halloween superstitious lore as well. If a bat circles your house three times, somebody's gonna die. How would you How would you count that? I mean, <laughs> bats are just out of control. They're just they're everywhere. They're just scattering around. You gotta pay attention. So you gotta stand outside the house and go, yeah. "Oh, there's a bat." It's gotta circle your house three times. That's the dumbest thing. Or, or like a black cat. It crosses your path. You're supposed to run them over with a car. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let them get away alive. Because if they get you away tackle alive. tackle it. Yeah. I mean, you're not supposed to let them live. You're supposed to kill them. Supposed no, to kill you're not a black supposed cat. to kill a black cat. That's bad luck. For the cat, <laughs> if, if he crosses your path and you get bad luck, you just run him over and it's over. Because he can, he didn't actually cross it. He kind of tried to cross it. You <laughs> ran him ass down, and now he's only halfway. Now he's just a black splatter. <laughs> I don't want a black cat get such a bad rap. Actually, because that supposedly is the familiar with the witches, and supposedly, familiar. yeah, Satan himself. Isn't turned familiar? into a black cat when he's Isn't hanging it? out with the witches. <laughs> Wasn't familiar is the people that pay hookers? Oh, those are Johns. <laughs> <They're> familiar. <laughs> I'm familiar. You look familiar. I've seen you here every night. I've been busted by the vice squad for being a familiar. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's Satan. a blade. They call them familiars. Satan was supposed to be a familiar a black cat. Yep. What? Satan was supposed to be a black cat. I thought that's what he turned in. Him. Well, he turned into a black cat, so he would be lured by the females to sit in their lap. See, he had to go through all that trouble. Satan was smart, man. <laughs> See, they did. They wouldn't just say, "Come on, Satan." They must not have very much power. I mean, he's got to be a cat to to get with a lady. <laughs> You think, uh, he's you know, been around for a long time. He's just trying all he's got different to do tricks. Though. <laughs> that's what he's got to do. He just does that right there. <laughs> Look into my eye. I'm your master. Take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's he's what he's a French said. vampire? Yeah. Oh, oh, Satan. Dude, now you're not a vampire. Nice. You know, I'm, uh, I'm not going to have to go, oh, I'm going to have to be a cat. And then I have to work my way up to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and he's trying different things. I got to use that damn little porta potty they call a kitty box. <laughs> he likes it. It's sand. Reminds him of the beach. He can't go to the beach. It's daylight. <laughs> it's Satan. Satan can't go. He can't Satan go. Satan get burned by the sunlight. He must. He must not have all that power. He's got to become a damn cat to get a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. See, the women say, come sit in my lap, and he just purrs and smiles up at him. He goes, purrs just like a walrus <laughs> when you goes, scratch your back. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that National goes, Geographic. <laughs> Walruses purr. Yeah, that's why black cats are supposed to be bad. But see, uh, all you people out there, now, when Halloween comes up, Nine times out of ten, nobody's going to come to your house anymore. They don't come to your house anymore because it's too damn dangerous. Because, you know, kids are getting taken, being sent off to uh, child molesting clinics or whatever. <laughs> to make Nikes no, somewhere. They, yeah. No, they send them off for uh, uh, trafficking, human trafficking. <laughs> and uh, that's why then they, they, but they, they, get, they get their picture on milk cartons. But, uh, you know, so they have these things they call trunk, uh, trunk and treat. That's the most ridiculous thing. Well, ever. You, all these cars park out in the. <laughs> all these pedophiles <laughs> get out of parking lots, and then they they say, hey, "Look at my trunk." And they throw the kid in there and lock it and drive away. <laughs> hey, like a little smorgasbord. Congratulations! But uh, you know that's how dumb it is. You know, 
I haven't had any kids coming to this house for a long time. No, and people go to the malls to trick or treat, and they go to the stores. Yeah, it's not the same anymore. That's no. sad. Because uh, you know what? You knew the thing I always hated was the choices I had to make when somebody put a big basket out there and goes, "Take only two, please." I'm like, screw that. Take I, two baskets. You look around and go, nobody's here. You take the whole basket. See, it is scary. I mean, you get an apple with an electric razor in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not plugged in. So you get home and go, hey, I'm supposed to plug this apple in. I'm saying, oh, no. <laughs> burn them. Burn, burn them. <laughs> it breaks your teeth out. <laughs> What's that, a razor? No, but you know. Kids don't have a good time anymore. I mean, it's too damn dangerous. And I mean, Trunks. you know what you should do if you really want to make a kid's day, give him a beer. Be drinking beer. That's a, <laughs> we used to do that when I was a kid. Oh, well, well, yeah, I drink beer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there you go. My dad was titty. an alcoholic. Of course, we lived it up. But uh, you know, that's a you know the parents would do. They used to be out there drinking Budweiser and stuff and. And eating hot dogs, and we'd come up, they'd, eat, they'd give us candy and shit. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Beer and weenies. <laughs> yeah. That's a party every no, night. I mean, a- a, like when we used to go trick or treat down on the base with our kids. Yeah, it'd, it'd be like a party, man. You go for the adults, issuing, issuing out the kids, <laughs> issuing out the kids. <laughs> following the kids and uh you know very he, stealthily and then you know you go to some places they say hey man you want a burger you want a hot dog you want a beer and <laughs> you want to come back to my room <laughs> for a you, nice intermission and where are you from <laughs> <laughs> what's your sign uh, but there's a lot of stuff coming up you know in kids October. would love that though you what? say hey here's a beer <laughs> unless you're like four four year olds <laughs> he said here's a joint <laughs> It's legal almost in like You don't have to worry US. about the kids coming back and egg in your house. They're probably thinking, oh, this is the best guy ever. Uh, Come on. Then they're hungry and all the candy's gone and then people start burning everything. <laughs> but we're going to wrap it up here. But we want to uh, tell everyone to tune in next week. We're going to get into a lot more holiday spirit. www.arkansashowcaseradio.org And we'll just be hanging out here just waiting for it because we're going to have a beer might have a joint jeff's <laughs> gonna dress up in whatever outfit My he's got there <laughs> hobo outfit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway we're out of here you guys take care be sure to check us out on youtube bye bye